Hello everybody, Tegan here with High Point. Thank you so much for tuning in today. As an astrophotographer, one of the most dreaded occurrences that we can experience is a pop-up rainstorm in the middle of the night during an imaging session. Now, while there's not much we can do about that, there are measures that we can take to help prevent the second most dreaded occurrence, tripod collisions. So if you use a long refractor for astrophotography or perhaps a telescope like an RC with a long imaging train, tripod collisions are something you've likely had to face before, along with many sleepless nights. So to alleviate your suffering, we present to you the Apertura Anchor. The Aperture Anchor is a rock-solid portable pier capable of handling the most robust setups, and it gives us astrophotographers the confidence and the peace of mind to image those high-altitude targets throughout the night without the risk of tripod collisions. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about the Aperture Anchor specifications, some of its incredible features, mount compatibility, as well as a quick tutorial on how to set it up. So with that, like, subscribe, and stay tuned. So at its core, the Aperture Anchor is a peer style support system with an Aperture custom adapter plate that is compatible with several brands of strain wave mounts that are on the market today. Instead of sticking with the limitations of a traditional tripod, the anchor raises your mount nearly 39 inches off the ground and 19 inches above the leg joint. That's nearly twice the height of a traditional peer extension and a game changer in avoiding those dreaded tripod collisions. The anchor's collapsible legs cover a max distance of 35 four inches when extended and the entire structure supports up to 220 pounds of payload. It only weighs in at 17 and a half pounds which makes this a very manageable pier to move in and out when needed. Visually speaking, the Aperture Anchor is stunning. With its signature Aperture Red anodized pier, the reinforced aluminum legs, and the stainless steel hardware, the anchor provides us the look, the feel, and the stability that us dedicated astrophotographers require when imaging out in the field. The anchor consists of a detent pin that automatically locks the legs as you extend them, making setup both quick and secure. Each of the three feet can swivel into position and the large locking collars make dialing in your footing on uneven ground effortless. For fine adjustments and leveling, the integrated leveling knobs let you bring the system perfectly level without having to adjust the legs themselves like in other tripods or piers. In addition to this, Aperture has designed a custom quick detach adapter plate that makes attaching a variety of different strain wave mounts simple and versatile. So the custom adapter plate with the M6 holes and the 3 8 inch center screw allows the compatibility for a wide variety of strain wave mounts on the market like the ZWO AM3 and the AM5, the Skywatcher Wave 100 and 150i, as well as the Warp Astron's WD-17 and WD-20. And to top this all off, it comes with a very nice soft aperture carrying case. So now that we've discussed features, use cases, and design, let's talk about how to set it up. And now it's very simple and quite straightforward. First, we'll check the detent pin and make sure it's in the down position. This is gonna lock the legs as they extend. Next, we need to loosen the clamping lever. Turn the lever counterclockwise to loosen it. And if you run out of room, simply pull backwards on the clamping lever, rotate it back to the original position, release the lever, and then rotate it counterclockwise again to loosen it further. Now, once that's finished, to extend the legs, simply pull the pier upwards and or the legs outwards until the detent pin falls into place. Lock the legs into place by tightening the clamping lever the same way that we loosened it. Next, we need to adjust the feet. Loosen the feet locking knobs and swivel each foot for sturdy ground contact, then tighten the foot locking knob back up. To adjust the leveling, unlock the leveling lock knob and then adjust the hand knob up or down to the desired position before re-engaging the leveling lock knob. Now, to remove the adapter plate, simply loosen the three top knobs, rotate, and lift away from the pier. Here, we're using the AM5N. The pier comes with a 5mm hex key and three hex bolts that bolt the pier directly to the bottom of the compatible strain wave mount. If you have a mount that doesn't have these three bolt patterns, you can simply use the 3 8 center bolt to attach your compatible mount. Lastly, lower the pier plate back onto the grooves at the top of the pier, rotate, and tighten the knobs back up. 
So that is how we set up the Aperture Anchor. As I mentioned, it's very simple and quite straightforward. Luckily, this past week, we had a nice patch of clear skies where we were able to actually get out under the night sky and use the Aperture Anchor in the field. Now, I mentioned if you have a long refractor or a telescope with a long imaging train, you're likely going to run into the issue of tripod collisions. The difference between the Aperture Anchor and a standard photographic tripod that you may use with the AM5 or the AM3 is quite staggering. For our test run out in the field, we use the Aperture APO90 refractor along with the ASI 2600 MC Air and the ZWO EAF Pro, all on top of the AM5 and the Aperture Anchor. We were able to track straight through Zenith without any risk of contact. The Aperture Anchor gave us both the confidence to image throughout the night along with a good night's sleep, both of which you typically don't get with a traditional tripod. The Anchor really does give you the best of both worlds. You have the strength and the stability and the clearance that you would get with a permanent pier, but you have the portability that you would have with a traditional tripod. So if you're running a strain wave mount like the AM3 or the AM5 from ZWO or perhaps Skywatcher's wave mounts, then the Aperture Anchor is a thoughtful upgrade as it's going to prevent all tripod collisions in the future. This is something to consider, especially if you have a long imaging train like a refractor or an RC. With the boosted weight capacity and the improved stability that just comes with the Anchor itself along with Aperture's absolute warranty, this is an easy recommendation for those who are serious about astrophotography. So that is it for our full review video over the Aperture Anchor. If you have any questions, please let us know in the comments below. We'll be more than happy to assist. Take a look in the link in the description. It's going to take you directly to the Anchor's webpage on the High Point Scientific website, where you'll also find a great manual written by the Aperture team themselves. Again, I am Tegan with High Point. Thank you so much for tuning in and clear skies.